In this video, we're going to show how to quickly set up a SD-WAN network using Mfusion Orchestrator. In this demo scenario, we have the CMG sits at headquarter network with a public IP address, and this public IP is resolved to a DNS name. And branch A, we use 4G to connect to the internet, and branch B use dynamic fiber broadband. So we'll create a secure VLAN in each location, VLAN 10, and in the branch, secure VLAN will have the branch Wi-Fi SSID join VLAN 10 and two physical port assigned to VLAN 10 as well. Then we will build a VPN overlay on the internet to allow the branch to communicate with headquarter and branch to branch communication. So I'm now physically at branch A. I already have the HSA 500L with the SIM card put in and with the power connect plug in as well. So the device is ready provision on Mfusion. If you want to know how to do zero touch provisioning, you can refer to docs.ransnet.com. So I have already added the device, the MAC address into Mfusion and all the devices are online. So I'm ready to proceed to configurations. First, I will start with the global settings, just in case later on we're going to create, uh, change the firewall rules for each of the branch. Instead of going to individual device, we can create a global firewall rule set and attach this global firewall rule to all the branch device. Then any further change, we just go to the global setting. So for testing, I'm just going to create a rule to allow SSH between the branch devices. Allow SH from SD WAN. Branch Wi Fi. I'm going to assign this SSID to VLAN 10, which is the secure VLAN that we will create. So I've done the global configuration. I'm just going to configure the gateway now and just add the gateway. And because I have provisioned the gateway with a static IP address, I don't want to change the rest, any of the other config. So I will assign an empty template. Just assign port 0, VLAN 10. So join SD-WAN network, that means I'm going to advertise this network into the SD-WAN dynamic routing. Go to branch. I will just start with branch A config. Then the rest of the branch will just copy branch A config. Add to the global firewall, global Wi-Fi, Create VLAN 10. Assign DHCP. They assign the two switch port to VLAN 10 as well. By default, all the switch port are in ETH1, which is in the default VLAN. So I'm done with the switch port and the Wi-Fi, you will automatically inherit the Wi-Fi setting from the global Wi-Fi. Then firewall rules, it also automatically inherits the global firewall rule for the SSH. Then just apply config and I'm ready to do the testing on branch A. So we just wait for the config push to finish. So once the config push is successful, I'm ready to test um, branch A device. I can already see the SSID connect to branch Wi-Fi SSID. I can get IP address from 10.11.11. Just do a pin test. I can pin Google. I can pin to the internet. At this stage, I can't pin to the gateway headquarter network yet because we haven't built the VPN overlay. So to build the VPN overlay, we just have to configure on the gateway. Just create one instance because we can run multiple instances and multiple tunnels on the gateway. Use a port number to identify each instance. The rest you can leave as default and just going to turn on the inter-client communication because we will allow the branch to communicate with each other. 
then I just have to assign the branch A into this instance and all this is done on the gateway as you can see now we just wait for the config to push as you can see once the config push is successful we can automatically connect to the headquarter from the branch A to the DC so let's try to pin branch B from branch A. At this stage, it's unsuccessful. We just have to import branch B and import the config from branch A so that we can inherit all the configuration, except we have to change the IP address. Before we push the config, we change the IP address for VLAN 10. Change the DCP as well. and assign this device to the VPN instance. Just wait for the config to push. As you can see, once branch B config is successfully pushed, we can pin to branch B from branch A. So the branch to headquarter and branch to branch communication is automatically established. And if you go to branch B, other configuration, the Wi-Fi setting is inherited and the switch port config is inherited. See the system automatically plots the SD-WAN or VPN topology. If you move your mouse over to the tunnel, you can see the tunnel statistics. If the tunnel breaks for whatever reason, for example, link failure, the system will flag out, show the tunnel as red with a warning sign. You can go to the alert tab to see the details of the warning.